We just got finished shooting an interview, and today we're taking the tour to see of his horse trailer that he has converted into a home. So, uh, Gary, I just got to tell you, I think this is one of the more brilliant uh, conversions I've seen. Thank you. And we've already talked at length about why a horse trailer and how you got it clean. So, folks, if you want to learn about that, go back and watch that other video. Uh, suffice it to say that the horse trailer are designed to last a lifetime, and most toy haulers and RVs are designed to last uh, until the warranty is over. And that's a <laughs> really big difference. Yes. Um, and one of the enough reason to buy a, a horse trailer. So let's start in here. This started out. How long is the trailer? Uh, the box itself is 24 foot, and then and then the overhang is about another eight foot where the bed bed is. Mm-hmm. And and you've converted that into your bedroom. Yes, well, the bed's up there, and then uh, I just got have cabinets here with boxes with my clothes and and different things that I can pull out, easy to get to, and paper goods and different things like that. And uh, is this a gooseneck or a fifth wheel? This is a gooseneck. You know, I don't. I've never quite understand the difference. Can you briefly explain the difference between a gooseneck and a fifth wheel? Uh, well, a gooseneck, uh, the trailer has a, a column down that, that has the hitch in the bottom of it, whereas uh, a fifth wheel has just a pin, and uh, uh, there's a uh, table in the back of your pickup that catches the pin. This, this being a gooseneck, has the, the, the length that goes down into the bed, and it just attaches to a, a large ball. Like any ball hitch. Like any ball hitch that, that's in the middle of your pickup. In this particular one, you can take the ball and drop it down into the pickup, and then and then your your bed is flat again. Whereas a a, a fifth wheel, you, you kind of have that hitch in the way of things. So that's the big advantage is that is just that you don't take up all your bed of your truck. Right, and you could put a camper in your truck, and everything is flat once again when you drop that ball down. And it's uh, that was a B and W hitch that I had put in the truck, and that's. I think the only one that does that, but it was worth it. Is one stronger or better, or just the advantage and disadvantage of having nothing inside? Um, you know, uh, most, uh, I can't tell you which one is really stronger, but I, I do know that, you know, all uh, horse trailers and uh, uh, stock trailers, they, they're they all, none of those are, are fifth wheels. They're all gooseneck, and they're, they all pull heavy weight, so I'm, I'd venture to say the goosenecks are stronger. What is the uh, gross on this trailer? You know, I haven't, I weighed it before I, I did a lot of the, the stuff in the back and it weighed 8,000 pounds uh, at that time. So I, uh, Had you started the conversion or? Uh, I'd just done the, the refrigerator and, and the, the cabinets here and the bed area. I hadn't put in the table and the restroom and the shower and I hadn't paneled the back. So that was all in addition in weight, whatever that comes out to, probably a couple thousand pounds. And of course, being a, uh, a featherweight, uh, all aluminum, it's the trailer itself started out pretty light. Uh, fairly light for as, for as tough as it is. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, let's take a look around. Uh, okay. If you don't mind giving us the, uh, the nickel tur. All right. Well. So let's take a look in your bedroom. All right. So it's not real tall. No, but it's tall enough. It's probably a good three feet from the... You know, from the mattress, I mean, from the, the bed uh, up to the ceiling, I, 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 I get claustrophobia and I've never had any trouble in here, so, so I got plenty of room. So essentially, it's literally just the bed. It's just the a bed. Little, a little bit of a couple of racks behind you. Yeah, and a couple of racks on those walls there just to put stuff, put my cell phone or whatever at night, and flashlight. And, and then, like you were saying, you got uh, storage on both sides. Yeah, well, you got a lot of storage here. You got a vent and escape hatch right there. Right. In case something goes drastically wrong. Here's the kitchen. Yes, that's the kitchen. I got solar panels up on top, 400 watts, and an inverter so I can run my microwave. And and uh, I got a big screen TV in the back, well, 40 inch. Uh, how much solar on the roof? I have 400 watts of solar solar in the back and I have my inverter up underneath the refrigerator there kind of all my electronics are in that area and uh, and, I, and that's all the power I need I have a Honda generator 2000 watt in the back that that I never really use uh, uh, because of my my solar kind of keeps me going you know although uh, I guess if I got in a cloudy 
cloudy cloud stream there for a while it, it would uh, maybe you know deplete my deplete my solar power but mm -hmm. but I'm ready for whatever so you just got a standard uh, faucet and you've got 25 gallon great fresh water and then grain black standard yeah. RV water pump I assume yes yeah I put the water pump down there and the the water tank is on the step that goes to the bed right under here yeah and, and I have a 40 gallon tank in the back of my pickup so uh, if I run out of water I can go and get some more mm -hmm. yeah and do you have a macerator pump for your black or just do you have to haul it drag it into town and dump it uh, I, I have to well I have to drag it into town and dump it right uh, and another uh, escape hatch up here yes so that gives you a lot of good ventilation too yes yeah Nice, nice, nice kitchen stove. Everything oh, you need. Thank you. Then this is the the shower in the restroom area in here. Then I got one of those fans, power fans there, and it really, uh, it really ventilates this place out in a hurry. Unlike a lot of RV showers, that's tall. This much? What is this? Seven or eight foot tall? Yeah, I believe it's seven foot. This, this another good thing about this trailer was it was made to haul thoroughbreds, so it was made for tall horses. So that that's where you get the height from, and that's one of the main reasons I bought it to start with, just for that extra height and uh -huh. extra room. And so here is your desk area. Yeah, that's my desk and dinette area. More storage everywhere, and uh, storage. so then we go in the back, which is essentially a garage. Yes. But you put your TV back here, so it's kind of a rec room. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Kind of got the kayaks hanging on the wall. I got storage for my barbecue and my outdoor stoves and different things like that. My folding chairs. You can set up a very very comfortable camp. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wherever you go, yeah, this is a, uh, folks, you don't know if you can tell, this is a, a folding picnic table uh, stored on the wall there, the door. Yeah, just swing the door open and just lift one side down. It's really easy to access. And you're hauling um, a motorcycle. Yes, I That's... have the motorcycle outside. It goes right in this area. I put these ramps down and run it in the back on the ramps. Got a couple of tables here for cooking on outside if I need them. Mm-hmm. And uh, at one time, this was your shower, I remember you saying. Well, when, when we hauled the horses back here, this was just aluminum, just aluminum walls. And then we just put a little kiddie pool, and, and I run water from the water pump in a 10-foot hose back here, and we would use that to shower. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I thought, well, that's not going to work any longer, so I put a shower in <laughs> so, uh, so I could right. you know, fix up the back and insulate it all and make it uh, so it would hold the heat better. And, uh, I put the, the one inch uh, styrofoam insulation throughout all the roof ceiling, uh, I mean the, the roof and the floor and uh, both, uh, both walls. Mm -hmm. And over here you have kayaks, which is a real popular thing. A lot of people are carrying kayaks nowadays. Yes. And a bike. Again, a lot of people want to have a, a bike that they carry. And here's, a, oh, this is a a, um, it's an oven and stove combination, propane. Right. And works off of the little green bottles. Yes, or or I carry a, a regular five gallon. I have hoses that I can hook all of them up at one mm -hmm. time. Nice, uh, nice barbecue grill. Yes. Yeah, you got, this, you're set up for a, a <laughs> wonderful camp this outside. Is a, this is a grill, just a griddle. Right. I'm familiar with those. Yeah, you've got a great camp set up outside. And here is uh, more, you know, just recreation things one of the things I, i'm gonna do in the future is that stuff along that wall i'm gonna move that motorcycle rack back slightly and build a cabinet there so i can put all that stuff in right. inside a cabinet and mm -hmm. with shelves and make it easier access and out of the way and your big screen tv is back here so you set in a uh, camp chair or something back yeah. here yeah i just set the camp chair right here where i'm at and just uh just kind of watch it from here kind of becomes your um my living room. Your uh, man cave. Man cave. There's and a good word for it. A lot better man cave than having your <laughs> your bike and your kayaks right there. Yeah. <laughs> All your gear. Uh, that'd be 
wives wouldn't put up with that. No, no, that's kind of the ideal <laughs> yeah. single man game. I, I agree, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's just great. I just think this is really amazing because so many of us want to carry these things and we can't uh, because we don't have the space and you, you don't have that limitation. Right. Uh, that was kind of my game plan when I started out and, uh, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's really livable. It's just, you know, I got all the comforts of home in here and it's all I really need. I, it's like I've seen some of your videos before that, that say you, you live in a house and, and so much of it you don't use and, and this takes care of all my needs. I, I don't really need a house. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Although I have one, but, but I'm thinking of getting out of it. Yeah, well, I I don't I don't look back at all and miss a, living in a house. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, so um, you're, right now you're just taking trips. Yes. And probably every time you drive home, you think, oh, I gotta go home. Um. Well, yeah, because I do have things to do. But and then you know I have my little shop there, and like I said, I want to build some cabinets there, and so so I have my tools, and right. and I can finish. This thing has been a hobby, you know, that I started several years ago, and, and I just kind of, when I go out, I think, well, I'd like to have this or that, and so when I go home, I just kind of figure out what I want to do and buy the things and materials I need to do it and, and do it. Well, Gary, thanks so much for sharing your trailer with us. I just think it's it's really wonderful. No, uh, you're welcome. I just, of course, for me, we're men, and for us, it's uh, function before anything else. Yes. But I, I think you have really su made it surprisingly pleasant as well. Oh, well, thank uh, you. I really think so. I don't, you know, it, a woman would add her touches, but I think it's really a pleasant home and well, not just stark like mine is. Uh, wow. Well, so I think you've done a great job. Well, thank you. I put my shoes up here, keep them out of the way, and this is my actual clothes closet behind this curtain here. So everything's kind of out of the way. And dust. Do you get dust? Is dust an issue? No. You know, this thing is sealed up so so much that, that it doesn't really get very dusty in here unless I open the doors. And then I have a vacuum cleaner that I can vacuum it. You know, it's a, one of those cordless vacuums and the, uh, uh, the solar panels will charge the batteries up. So so I I can vacuum anytime I need to really, really easily. Well, Gary, thank you so much. I just love the I love what you've done. I love the work, and uh, I just really appreciate your sharing it with our audience, my, my audience. Well, you're welcome. So there you go, folks. A really nice job. Another another innovative design, turning a uh, a horse trailer into a, a wonderful home on wheels. So if you got anything out of us, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.